Hello everybody out there and welcome back to What The Card. I'm Chris. And I'm Mike. And it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year everybody. Yes, Happy New Year's to all of you. We are in the new year of 2017. And looking back really quickly on 2016, What The Card started at the end of 2016. It's only, We've only been around for about a good month and a half, but I've got to say in that month and a half, we've had nothing but amazing fun. We've gone Monday through Friday every single week since we started and we plan on keeping it that way by the way uh in the coming year but it's been a great year and a uh, month year and a half month and a half we met some really great people i did a lot of shout outs to channels that we're subscribed to we've subscribed to even more channels so if you want to see who we're subscribed to who we're watching go over to our channel i believe our subscription list is public i did mess up on a couple of names and i really i really apologize for that uh, during the uh merry christmas video so i'm really sorry for anybody whose channel i said wrong it was a long day and we were cooking and i was recording in speed but anyway it's just been amazing how many friends we've made in such a short time and how for us at least for how quick the channel's grown now i know compared to other channels, you know, we're not exactly, you know, as high up or as built up yet. But for us, this is yeah, definitely yeah. a plus. Yes. Yeah, so now with the new year of uh, 2017, Chris, uh, want to tell our viewers what's in store for this year? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, let's start off with, uh, as you guys know, Michael and I, as well as everybody else that uh, works on What the Card, we are all connected to another website called Comic Frontline. And as of today... Uh, January 1st, 2017, we've officially announced what the card on ComicFrontline.com. Now, we've been holding this off as far as announcing it on Comic Frontline. This was our quote-unquote secret project that no one, none of our viewers on Comic Frontline knew about. And today was the big announcement. And what does that mean for what the card? It means absolutely nothing is going to change for what the card whatsoever. What it means for what the card is now... For those of you that are coming over from Comic Frontline, uh, What the Card will now be a featured tab on ComicFrontline.com, as well as everybody on ComicFrontline.com uh, who watches all of our comic reviews, because that's where Mike and I come from. That's where we started. Uh, as far as press, we started working in comic book news and reviews. Uh, everybody from there who likes trading cards are now moving over. Well, TCGO. Uh, TC I keep calling it TCGO. TCG. The yes. O is for online. Uh -huh. For those viewers on Frontline that like TCG, now they are um, joining us here on What the Card as well. And that's great because I, I like how we already built up a couple of subscribers before announcing it. And now with the mesh between Comic Frontline and what we've already been doing on What the Card, things are hopefully going to really explode uh, in the coming year. And that's one of our goals. Exactly. One, one of our goals is, now I know a lot of people have a set number. I don't really think, Mike, we have a set number per se. I mean, I would love to see this channel hit at the end of the year about maybe 5,000. Yeah, well, I would say that will be our objective goal to get there. Right, but how many would you... I would say in the year, in a year, 12 months, I'd like to see this channel hit about five, ten thousand 10,000 subscribers. That would be really cool. Um... Maybe there, or or it could be beyond. Maybe I was. Oh, I'll take beyond. I'll take. Hey, hey I mean, I from, mean, you know, God willing. I mean, it's all up to you guys. Share the channel, please. Do we do have a couple of contests and uh, giveaways? We did do a contest for Christmas. Unfortunately, I think it fell through the cracks. So we might do another one because nobody really. Um, I don't think anybody caught on to it. So we still have a lot of the prizes left over. So we'll probably do another specific titled contest yeah, but there will soon. be giveaways that we'll be doing from time to time oh absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah yes, because that's what we care about our viewers and what they want of course and we're going to give back and also speaking of uh viewers i have been asked a couple of times about um sending mail a few people wanted to send us uh, pictures uh, and stuff yes. michael and i are going to be looking into a p.o box uh this month uh and we're going to see how much it you know how much it is and and uh how to open one up uh, how we can get into opening one up. And once we open it up, we will definitely share that P.O. box with all of you here on What the Card. But we are in... A P.O. box is in the works. So stay tuned. By the end of January, we should have a open, active P.O. box. Um, Absolutely. And that's all after that. As far as this channel, though, now, you know, we got... We want to get a lot of... Uh, we want to build up our subscribers, of course. This year is going to be a lot of fun for us because we're going to be trying a whole bunch of different things. Last, uh, 
the past month and a half, we've been doing a lot of openings. We've been <clears throat> really feeling out what we like doing. We've done a couple of pack battles, which were amazing. Both, they were amazing and fun too. Yes, both on channel and with other awesome Poke Tubers. And we hope to do even more in the coming year. So if you're interested in doing a pack battle, <clears throat> feel free to message us. Our messages are right on our about page. You can click that message button. Emails, I got to start checking our email a little bit more often. But yeah. if you'd like to pack battle, either feel free to comment on any video we do. You could comment on this one, but I mean any video. You don't have to come back to this one a half a year down the road. Comment on any of our videos if you're ever interested in pack battling, and we will definitely mess message back and forth and figure something out. Uh, as far as pack battles go, though, I noticed we've had very bad luck with the card blisters. Yeah, so, those have been really not so well. Right, so in the spirit of pack battling, we'd like to keep our pack battles to actual packs, whether it be four packs of whatever um, card series we want to do, whether it be Evolutions, Sun and Moon, Base, what have you. Uh, we want to keep it to packs of cards. It makes it easy for everybody because anybody can go to the store and pick up, for example, four packs of Evolution. So we want to keep the pack battles in packs for next right. year. So this way we have, it's more of an open, because those blister packs, man, they're unlucky for everybody. I know, like every time when we kept uh, doing that and when I watched uh, videos, not really a bunch of great pulls have been pulled out of those. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, they're great to, you know, for uh, sales and for people to buy, but it's just not, giving like anything that jumps out like oh my gosh this card is awesome you know like right. other cards have done yes yeah, so we want to definitely keep pack battles as packs and it also makes it easier to set up a pack battle and speaking of setting up starting next week not this week because this week we do have a pack battle that will be happening tomorrow um i'm gonna save that for tomorrow so check it out tomorrow which is monday but starting next week our pack battles will be scheduled for Wednesdays. So if we do do a pack battle, it will be on Wednesday, which is the middle of the week. Right. Now, Brant and Lisa are two friends who are also working on this channel with us. They've done two videos so far. Uh, there's other videos coming in the near future. Uh, we all came up with the idea of doing battles between us over here, me and Michael, and Brant and Lisa. So from time to time, you'll actually be seeing on channel pack battles. Now, I know a lot of people enjoyed mine and Ellie's pack battle and your and my pack battle. So we're going to definitely be looking to do more pack battles and box battles or whatever on channel. So that means double whatever box or double whatever blister pack that we're going to open for that day. And we're going to have fun kind of competing with each other on the channel and, uh, just having a good time with it. And I like that. And actually, Brent's the one that came to me yeah, with that and, idea. And that's what the videos are about. You know, just having a good time and just <laughs> getting it out there, you know, for the people to watch us. And they could have fun, too, while watching us. Right. And as the year goes on, obviously, we'll be working on building up our videos as our subscribers, channel, and our part in the community grows in the coming year. Exactly. So we definitely want to grow and evolve with um, the channel and that's what you're going to be seeing in our videos now one thing we'd love to start doing a little bit often is card hunting uh, we have a ton of card stores around here a ton of stores in general and my channel uh, I for those of you that do or don't know I do a lot of vlogging now on my channel Michael has actually done a couple of vlogs yeah on my channel as well so um, we think it'd be a great idea um, to maybe every once in a while post up an extra video of us Going around, you know, looking for cards, grabbing a couple of things. And one thing that we are definitely doing, when we hit our 100th subscriber, we are going to do an epic card hunt. That's what we're calling it. And we're going to be going out and we're going to buy a bunch of TCG things that we are going to open to celebrate our first 100 subscribers. Now, after that, we won't be doing it again until we hit like 1,000. So we're going to try to keep it as we add a zero. Right. To our to our um you know, our numbers of subs. And then when we hit one thousand, then we'll wait till we have five thousand. And then after five thousand, you know, we'll wait till ten thousand. And we'll and as we grow in subscribers, the epic card hunt will grow. So you guys definitely want to get the the word out about what the card because the more the more we grow and the faster we grow, the quicker you guys will see your next epic card hunt. 
And when I say epic card hunt, I mean there's going to be a lot of stuff. And it will be part of a week-long opening celebration, celebrating our 100 subs. And we're hoping it happens within the next month or so. Uh, one sun and moon drop. It'd be great to be able to grab a bunch that of stuff from Sun and Moon. That would actually be perfect timing, actually. Ex exactly. Sun and Moon base. We'll be able to grab a bunch of Sun and Moon stuff, and we will definitely open it throughout an entire week celebrating 100 subscribers. So definitely get the word around, like I said, about that. And we're hoping to reach that soon, like I said. Uh, now another thing, and I've noticed actually a lot of people are talking about doing something similar <clears throat> to this. I know for a fact our good friends Pokesis is actually doing something very, very similar to what we're planning, Mike. Uh, what we're planning to do is we don't have an exact title for it yet, so I don't want to throw out even a tentative title. But we're going to be basically getting a box and we're going to fill it with Pokemon card packs. Maybe two, three, however many we can get each and every week for six months. I know Poke Sisters are doing this for an entire year. Which, if you're not subscribed to Poke Sisters or anybody we're subscribed to, you should definitely go check them and everybody else out um, that are part of our awesome friends list. It's on What the Card on the main channel. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to wait six months instead of a full year. We're going to collect as many packs as we can in this box, which we'll come up with a name by the time this happens. So by mid-June, we will take this box out, we'll open it up, and all the packs that we've accumulated over the past six months, we're going to do a massive opening on. And that should be really awesome. Oh, that's going to be fun. And then again, we'll close the box. And from the end of June all the way until the end of December, we'll do it again. And then at the end of December, right before the new year, we'll open the box again. And if this works, these two videos uh, really build up enough we might actually go an entire year in 2018 who knows or maybe we'll make two boxes one for every six months and one for a full year let's see where it goes if you guys like this box definitely let your voices be uh heard in the comments here and especially when we do the box in june and december and if you guys like it we'll make two boxes and every week we'll separate how many packs we get and one box will be a full year one box will be a half a year I don't Sounds mind doing two me. boxes. I really don't mind. I mean, we might actually still consider it now. I mean, it's still January. We'll see where it goes. If we can get two boxes set up on time, we'll do it. We've already started. We've already got a tin filled with packs that we got in December. So we actually started a month early. Right. So we, we were eager. So we wanted to save up a couple of extra packs. And uh, if you guys want to send us stuff, like I said, we're going to be making a P.O. box. And if the packs are specifically for um the box just let us know and as always guys you don't have to send us anything you know we're going to be buying stuff uh i'll mention the schedule once i finish talking about this you know we don't expect you guys to send anything if you do want to send something that's awesome and we definitely will give you a shout out on a mail time video which we will do a mail video if we do have mail uh but again you are not in on any means um required to send us anything anything you guys do send is much much appreciated we love you guys for it and if you can't that's still cool also hopefully you'll you know you'll still enjoy all the stuff that we get ourselves that we open you know we will always have something to open on this channel and before i get into the weekend because there's a now there's two announcements for the weekend i want to guarantee you guys that you know we talked about whether we were going to go monday through friday or monday wednesday friday for pokemon card openings I'm here to tell you guys right now, we will remain Monday through Friday. Five days out of the week, we are guaranteeing you one video opening a Pokemon TCG product. Whether it be just a group of packs, like we'll grab like four or five packs, a box, whether it be a figure box, a jumbo card box, whatever, an EX box, a booster box, which those we might split into two days. I don't know. We might, we might actually debate on whether we're going to open a full box in one video or not. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes because we are going to start booster boxes as soon as Sun and Moon starts. Yes, we are. Definitely. So uh, we'll figure that out when we get to that bridge. But you will have a TCG video for Pokemon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you guys are going to be seeing hopefully more of Brant and Lisa at least once every week, if not every other week on this channel, which is great as they are uh, building up their collection of Pokemon cards. Um, so don't worry. 
the whole week will be Pokemon, but that leaves the weekend. Now, the weekend was our, <clears throat> the past couple of months, has been our, our, we, our time where we said if we have anything extra, we were going to post it up. Well, guys, I'm here to announce that starting this weekend, on Saturday, there will be a new series starting. Yu-Gi-Oh! That's right, everybody. Starting next Saturday, myself and my girlfriend, Cindy, will be opening up and reviewing Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG products. From booster boxes, to theme decks, to structure decks, to theme boxes, to random packs, all that and more. We will be doing every Saturday at 10 a.m., just like we do our Pokemon videos Monday through Friday, and it will be a weekly series. So hopefully, for those of you that are fans of Yu-Gi-Oh, you will come by on the weekend on Saturday and give that video uh, a check out, show some love, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to starting that next weekend. We actually have a really cool theme box uh, to kick off Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you're a fan, yeah, please do pass by on Saturday because we're really trying to build up a little bit of fun on the weekend as well, which leads us to Sunday, which... Uh, right now, we are just going to be calling it uh, Random Cards Sunday. Now, Random Card Sunday is not exactly for Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. However, if we do have extra packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, or if we find something, you know, maybe we will throw them into Random Card Sunday. However, we have another idea in mind for Random Cards Sunday. We're thinking of reaching out into other things, right, Mike? Yes, and those other things you can expect are Luck and Logic, Card Fight Vanguard, Force of Will, Magic the Gathering, Dragon Ball Z, Final Fantasy, and the list goes on and on, but it will have many other series. Yes, there's a ton of other TCG series out there, and we are definitely going to look into each and every one. I think we've already been asked about Final Fantasy, and I am a huge fan of the Luck and Logic anime. Uh... Not to mention, we have ha we have touched a few other series that we mentioned. But again, these are once a week. And I want to stress the fact that Sunday, these random card opening videos are not weekly. They are when we can do them. That's the only difference with Sunday and the rest of the week. Some Sundays, there might not be a video. That might be the one day out of the week that we will have nothing uh, to post. But if we do find some interesting TCG stuff outside of the realm of Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! Or maybe if we do find something Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! If we find something interesting in the TCG world, regardless what it is, we will definitely have it for you guys on Sunday. Absolutely. So you guys have Monday through Saturday now, worth of card openings. Monday through Sunday on certain weeks. We are definitely going to look into a lot of this stuff. We are actually going to do our first card hunt. This week. Yep. And we are not only going Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh hunting. We are going to go hunting for anything that catches our eye in the TCG world. So, for those of you out there that are TCG, for those of you companies out there TCG, what the card is looking for you. Just like Comic Frontline, we are on the front line of everything comic related. What the card is going to be on the front line of everything TCG related. Or we're going to try to do as much as we can on the front line of things well, TCG yeah. related. Because there's a lot of stuff out there and there's a lot of new stuff that comes out each and every month. And we sure can't be on top of everything. But we're going to try to be on top of anything Pokemon related. And Cindy's going to try to be on top of as much as she can Yu-Gi-Oh related. But I guarantee you guys, we will remain a at the heart and core of what the card we will remain Pokemon. But we are definitely looking to add to and expand from Pokemon as well. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it and come with us on this journey. And that's why we're only doing Yu-Gi-Oh! once a week. And we're only doing these random card openings once a week. And both times they're on the weekend. Yeah, we're here for you guys and you guys only. And speaking of that, I'm glad you mentioned that. If you guys have any suggestions, any recommendations for TCG series, definitely let us know in the comments below. We'll try to see if we can find anything. Um, we, are, you know, we are here for you guys. Uh, creative criticism... As long as it's not, you know, 
Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, as long as it's not a smarty pants criticism, if it's actual, legit, creative criticism, we love to hear from you guys what you guys think, what you guys would like to see. We'd love to know what you guys would like to see more of, what you'd like to see us do more of. And yeah, like Michael just said, we're here for you guys. Yep, and we're here for you guys only, and we're going to try our best to give you all the possible best TCG stuff that we have in store for you guys. Because 2017, we're going to like really go with this channel headstrong, and we're going to just give build. everything and build you know, with you guys and the community as well as we evolve. And as we now have Comic Frontline behind us as well. Exactly. We're just going to, uh, you know, have fun and hopefully you guys will just sit back and enjoy the ride with us. And before we go, really quickly, for those of you out there that have been following us since the very beginning, if you are comic book fans and you like, or if you are interested in comic books, please do shoot over to ComicFrontline.com or YouTube.com backslash Comic Frontline and check out Comic Frontline. We have tons of comic book stuff coming out on there and... While this will be a building year for What the Card, Comic Frontline, which has been around for several years now, we are also building on there. Mike and I are definitely very active members on there as well, doing comic reviews and more. So if you like comic stuff, as we're building, like I said, cards here, we're going to be building even more stuff on Comic Frontline, comic-related, on there. Yes, and don't forget that Comic Frontline is your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more as well. Mm -hmm. So, to go check them out. Definitely check us out there as well. Thank you guys so much. We hope you guys are having a fantastic beginning of your year. We've been talking for a very long time, and I think this is a good time to cut out. There will be update videos from time to time. If we ever come up with a good idea, we will definitely throw these out there as extra videos as well. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful new year. We love all of you guys. Thank you all so much for subscribing. For those of you that have been subscribed to us since the beginning or have subscribed to us, whether it be through a pack battle, through a recommendation from another channel, we appreciate that, and we are so happy that you guys are enjoying all the content that we have done. And I promise you guys, if you've been enjoying all the stuff we've been doing, you're going to really enjoy all the stuff that we are planning for 2017. Thank you, guys. We love you. Remember, the power is in your hands, and we will see you guys really soon. Take care, everybody.